everybody is taking care and being blessed today. Today's video is going to be a great video. As you guys know, I will be two years live as of October 30th. I am super duper excited, guys. Okay, guys, I had to stop. Somebody was knocking at the door. I'm so sorry about that. But I wanted to make this video today. As I was saying, I will be two years locked as of October 30th. I am super duper duper excited. I want to show you guys how I moisturize my hair. As you guys know, I have been doing a weekly wash uh, shampoo for my locks. I've been doing that for about, probably about a month and a half now. Uh, when I say I truly love washing my hair once a week, um, a lot of people ask me, um, how do I retwist? How often do I retwist? L lately, I think it's probably been about um, maybe about a, about two months, almost two months. Um, I'm trying to like not really semi free form, but I really really love the unkept look. So I'm really not caring about retwisting my hair as we speak. But what I have to do is I always have to make sure my whole hairline um, and sometimes my nape area make sure that I do um, keep the parts together because my hair grows away from my locks. So if I didn't. It would be just a mess. So I do usually try to make sure I keep my um, my hairline and stuff intact because I really like that. So I do sometimes take the hair and just kind of wrap it around real lightly. But anyway, guys, this video is to show you how I moisturize my locks. What I love to moisturize my locks with is water. Our hair is just like a plant. Um, plants love water. We love water. I'm telling you guys, that's why I love doing my weekly washes. And if I find that my hair is dry, this is what I do. Um, I My main thing is the only thing that I use in my hair is oil and water. I love it. I love all kinds of different waters. Um, I usually use rose water. I use distilled water, but I really use rose water. My hair reacts really well with rose water. And I just found another product in my Indian, local Indian store. You just Google your local Indian store. Um, when I say I love this, and I hope I pronounce it right, it's called the Kiwa water. You guys, I actually like this better, I think, than my rose water. I like, I love the smell of this, and I love the smell of the rose water too. So you guys, they both are neck and neck, but I'm thinking I'm really loving this. And what I do, guys, is I put it inside of a spray bottle. I get my spray bottles from uh, online, um, and I like to get it. It's a nice mist. So when you are doing your hair, you don't want to drench your hair. You want to just give it a nice mist. I have found out um, that my hair responds well when I put my water on first. So what I do is I mist it. We're going to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. What I do is I mist my hair real lightly. I know a lot of people say water and oil don't mix. I don't know about you, but my hair loves water and oil. And that's what I'm going to be using. And that's what I have been using throughout my whole journey. Um, and when I say I love it, I love it. Um, I spray my hair every night before I go to bed. I mist it and then I put my head scarf on and I don't have to worry about any flyaways, any locks looking crazy. I find that that is really good. And I also find, guys, when I do um, moisturize, oh, and I've got the main ingredient too, guys, um, in my water. I like to use vitamin E. When I say, you guys, this vitamin E oil is the truth and I purchased online through eBay. Um, or you can get it on Amazon. You see the, the brand Sundown Naturals E um, Vitamin E Oil 70,000. The thing that I like about this, guys, is it's a nice, thick oil. So it responds really well to my hair. And that's the best vitamin E oil ever, guys. I love it. And if you can't buy it at the store. Um, maybe you can find it somewhere. But in my local area, you can't get it. So I always get it online. So anyway, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my hair. Uh, the Kiwa Water and Vitamin E Oil is in there. Um, and I love it because it gives it not only moisturizing with water, but it also gives it a nice, the oil makes it not hard or anything. So once I get it in there, I just kind of just let it kind of sit in there, get them nice and damp. And then once I get it damp, these are the things that I use. I am the type of person, you guys, I like to use um, dry oils. Like I told you, you can use any type of oil. Um, you can put it inside that spray bottle if you don't want to use the vitamin E oil, but I love the vitamin E oil. This is a new product that I find. I always try to find products, guys, that is clear. I do not want any buildup. My shampoos are clear. Anytime I find something new, it's always clear. So I don't got to have any product buildup. This is the Giovanni Shine of the Times High Gloss Mist. When I say, guys, I love this, I freaking love it. I love it because it's a nice oil mist. It's nothing hard, just something really nice and dry. So you guys, if you can find you a great dry oil, 
you will be on top. Dry oils are great. They come out better. I'm not really for sure, you guys, what the difference is between regular oils and dry oils, but it feels different. It feels nice. Another product, you guys, that I just started using every now and then. All these products, guys, is every now and then. I don't use it all the time, but I switch back and forth to the two. Um, I see one of my new subscribers. They have this lavender. You got to purchase online for organics. I freaking love it. It just take a little tiny bit. Real little bit. And I can also, guys, put this on. Um, I like to always let my hair dry after I get uh, get it shampooed. And then the next day, guys, I put my oils and stuff on because my hair do not respond real well when I put the oils on after, like right after I shampoo. Unless I use these serums. Like if I use this serum, it actually did respond well. And you see that little tiny bit that I use? It does not take much at all. And like I told you guys, I switched between those two. My hair feels soft, feels moisturized. And when I feel that my scalp is dry, what I do, guys, is I actually have it in a um, I have it in this because it's so much easier. The wild growth oil. When my scalp is dry, that is when I use the wild growth oil. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and use it. It don't take much. And when I say I love uh, this little nozzle tip, like it gets in everything, um, don't use a lot of oil because you do not want it pouring down your neck. I remember when I first started oil in my scalp, I got crazy with it. It does not take much, y'all. And when I say I love this because... I don't know why my camera keep doing that. Ever since I dropped it, it's, it acts crazy. But um, when I say, guys, I love wild growth oil too. So those are my staples of how I moisturize my hair. And like I say, guys, I don't do it often. I just do it when needed. My, I like to close my eyes, guys, when I'm putting things in my hair. <clears throat> and my hair tells me when it needs like you can just feel it you can feel when your hair needs oils and different things like that so what i do is i just put it all in my hair the wild growth oil that container used to be really easy to squeeze the wild growth oil but it's real hard now because i used to always recycle the wild growth oils but i can't even do that no more um the, the actual bottles are heavy so that's why now guys I, i'm not heavy but just hard like it make your fingertips hurt so that's why I um, bought me a little nozzle tip. You'll be amazed, guys, at the products like the, the spray bottle and the combs and different things that you use. If you use some good ones, you'll get good results, especially this spray bottle. Get you one online. And there we go, guys. That is how I moisturize my hair. Not as so soft. At first, you guys, it felt hard because, um, like I told you, I just washed it yesterday. So I always add my moisturizer um, the day after. And sometimes I don't even add. It just depends on how the shampoo makes my hair feel. But that is it. I love my locks. Again, like I said, you guys, I'll be two years in. Two years, guys. I cannot believe it's been two years. And it's been two and a half years since the big chop. And I am loving my hair. I love it, love it, love it. Locks is the best thing that I have ever done, guys. <sighs> love it. Super duper love it. If you have started your lock journey... Or if you, if you start your natural hair journey, whatever journey you started, let me know how it's going. Let me know how you moisturize your hair. But again, like I said, I got to put my water on first and then I put the oils. And I try different oils. I love all kind of oils. Um, but anyway, take care, be blessed, and thanks for watching. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you guys um, subscribe. Press that little bell um, on the actual video to the right so you can make sure you are always notified of all the videos that I come out with. Okay, take care guys. Bye.